s'il y a bien une définition qu'on retient du rapport Brundtland, c'est que le fait que le développement durable est la capacité de la génération 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 primary needs, what difference between uh, simple wishes or desires to uh, futile or even ostentatious needs? Do we uh, have uh, luxury needs on a daily basis? And the other element is limitation. In, when we live in a society, how do we deal with limitations? We're not talking about living in caves again, but we're trying to understand how we can measure our needs and set limits based on what we consume. Now, every time we talk about sustainable development, we go over two main notions, development, we're not talking about economic growth, we're talking about development, mutation, changes, and how can this change modify society as we know it. Development is supposed to change the way we live in a society. And the other element is durability. What kind of durability do we want to uh, implement? Is it strong or weak? Weak, it means that the environment must be defended at all costs, or should we introduce a distortion principle whereby the weakness of durability or natural resource that natural resources could be replaced by other resources and uh, this would participate in the evolution of our society so development durability two concepts two important elements, but what matters really is the positioning of a sustainable development how are we supposed to Imagine the concept, how make it into a model. There are several visions of the model. Is it a simplified model? No, not really, because we're trying to make things more complex. So we will try and take into consideration all the elements belonging to the ecosystem to understand the changes. Every time we admit we're working with the model, we may be tempted to idealize it. Do we want to introduce some kind of ideal? But really, the reference model should be somewhere in between. We need to make our relationships more complex. Real life should be something that everybody can understand. And at the same time, we should set ourselves a, a kind of utopia, an ideal, because we need some kind of ideal to go for. The difficulty is that sustainable development could be construed as an alternative model where we can place everything that does not belong to the reference model. If we say that our model is economical, liberal, based on the market model, anything different would be placed in the alternative model. And imagine what would happen. There would be a sustainable model, a sustainable development model, which would be uh, the drawer where we place everything different, everything that is that does not belong to the market, to the competitive market. Now, if we are trying to live better, is sustainable development just a transition phase, or is it the next phase in itself? Do we stop there, or is there a following sta stage? Are we going to uh, make our economy green or greener, or is this going to be an entirely new model where cooperation would be at the heart of our relationships? Talking about models, we might be tempted to imagine a new economic model Model. Now, if this model were to refer to another form of life in the society, the way we think of our production, uh, relationship with production would be changed. How do we make products that can be 100% recycled? How do we make sure that the, the products are not rare, that they are abundant in society? Can we imagine new industries for tomorrow? Is construction going to play an important role? Is eco-efficiency going to become an important parameter in new buildings? And also we have to think about our relationship with consumption and goods. Very often, 
in we like to own the things we consume, but can we imagine a system where nothing would belong to us? Everything would be based on services. We go to the theater, we go to the movies, but nothing belongs to us. Finally, the last thing we can talk about in the economic model is are we capable of detaching the, the, the growth and the, uh, the economic aspect and the quality aspect? We have to think of the consequences of too strong an economic growth on the environment or on society. Take China. China has a growth rate of 8, 10, 15 percent. Imagine the consequences, the dysfunctioning and the growing uh, social inequality or even environmental inequality. Now, talking about an economic model, we could also imagine a society model. Aren't we moving towards a model that will question our whole relationship with society? There are several alternative ways to account for sustainable development. Social and solidarity economy is a model that questions the competitive environment and places cooperation and collaboration at the very heart of the system, respect for others rather than competition. There are very many players in our society who claim that they work this way. What about green growth? Do we, is it sufficient to make our economy greener? And we can imagine that all uh, big factories or companies in the uh, chemistry uh, industry would sponsor a sailing race, for instance. So we have to imagine technical solutions, innovating solutions, and the industrial ecology is thinking about the metabolism of ecosystems. Can we see or start to see a correspondence between the industrial system, the company system, and the natural environmental system. What could be the symbiosis? What could be the metabolism? What flows of material or energy would go in the company, in the environment? All the models that I'm mentioning now are not necessarily breaking away from today's society. Political ecology is really moving away from the growth model. People are claiming now that we need some space for the environment, for ecology, and a sphere that we depend directly on the ecology, a symbiosis where ecology would take the lead would take the reins. And further away from us, in Latin America, there is a new current, Buen Vivir, which questions the idea of development itself. The current is based on the fact that local traditions, local know-how, local knowledge are important. They are part of the local culture. They are a source of diversity and wealth and they should be used uh, for society projects. And regardless of the models, whether they're different or not, we should use them all in order to look at the future and at sustainable development.